Hey, you mob. Thanks for joining us for a Deadly Kindy session. My name is Kendi. I work over at Bioc, birthing in our community on the south side at the Mums and Bubs hub there. And I also work in the Deadly Kindies team as well. And I've got a special friend here with me today. Hey, you mob. I'm Kim. I'm part of the Deadly Kindies team too. Thanks for joining us. We're going to have a great session today. We've got yeah. lots of things to get up to. But before we start, we always do an acknowledgement of country. So if you're at home, you can get comfy and or at Kindy too. Um, and we can start. Let's go. Let's do it. Here is the land. Here is the sky. Here are my friends. And here am I. We would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we play, discover, and learn. Before we start our book and our activity and our song, um, we're going to have a quick yarn about our social media. So are you following us on Instagram? Are you following us on YouTube or Facebook? If you type in Deadly Kindies, you will see that we're across lots of social media and getting out lots of good messaging as well. Kim, I know that uh, Nala, your little boy, he's, yes. a, he's a bit of a star on the Deadly Kindies Instagram. He's been getting up to lots lately. What have you all been doing? Yeah, getting up to giving giving mob lots of ideas, lots of ideas to do at home. He's always out and about in the out and about in the yard. Yeah, deadly. Um, fruit, eating lots of fruit, lots of fruit. Yeah, he's a little cooking. chef, eh? He yeah, make, lots of I cooking. saw him making a smoothie the other week there. So if you mob are um, you know on socials, make sure that you follow us and comment. Let us know what you've been getting up to. And there's lots of good ideas of stuff that you can do at home with items around the house. You know. Don't have to go out and spend heaps of money on all these toys and equipment. We're, we've got stuff that you can use of from recycling, toys you already got, um, you know, lots of different stuff. So make sure you follow us. And if you have any ideas for us, for yeah, our filming, true. yeah, if we yep. can do any filming here that you want to see or you want to see in your kindy, let us know and we can we can whip something up. Yeah, hey? we can, we'll give anything a try. So, <laughs> all right, let's start with our story today. This one is called I Have, and it's by Nola Tur Turner Jensen, and it's illustrated by Maggie Pruett, maybe. Pruett? Yeah, I think that's Pruett. Yeah. The nice turtles. pictures here. Um, and you can see that we're going to talk a little bit about language in here. So um, if you have learnt language, you know language, if you're lucky enough, you can um, always change books a little bit, hey, to incorporate your own language in there. And you, you'll see what, what we mean when we, when we have a look and have a read, hey? All right. I have. I have arms, said Maggie. Oh, and I've, fair. Yeah, look at her reaching arms up. And I've got down here... So I've just used a post-it and some blue tack and I've written on there minning and that's a Darug word, which is my mob, that's for arms. I have flippers, said Turtle. Oh, look. Oh, deadly. Lucky getting up close in, to a turtle like that. I don't see many of them down this way. I have hands, said Maggie. She's got her hands up. And we say Damara. The Mara for hands. I have paws, said Dingo. Maggie's very friendly with these animals, hey? I know. I don't reckon you should probably get that close to a dingo there, Maggie, but <laughs> there we go. I have legs, said Maggie. Look at her. What's she doing? Looks like she's balancing across yeah. the, the wood there. Using that outdoor environment. And we say on binning there for legs. Hmm. Good arms out too, Balancing. I have claws, said Crab. Hey, look out, Maggie. She's going to get bitten. That claw's going to snap her up. Maybe she's been fishing, hey? Caught the crab there, down by the mangroves maybe. Cook a good feed. I have toes, said Maggie. Oh, Maggie, is she in the water there? Or maybe under the sand. I yeah, can't I think tell. she's burying her feet in the sand. Yeah. I know lots of jarjums like to do that. Yeah, does your little boy do that? He does, bury his toes. Yep, gets covered in sand, bring it all back in the house. And we say Manawi for toes. Manawi. I have talons, said Eagle. Oh, very sharp. They are sharp, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, good for picking up a feed. Yep. Feed fish. Watch Lizards. Your, watch your toes there, Maggie. Sure of it. Here comes Eagle. 
Yeah. And that's the end of the story. So you saw there that um, I changed up that book a little bit to, to put um, my language in there. So that's something that you can do, I guess, with any of your books. If you've, um, as I said, if you've been lucky enough to, to know language, you can, um, yeah, just use a little bit of blue tack to stick that on and that can remind you. And that's um, helped me to remember and learn, yeah. you know. So it's very a, important to learn our language, isn't it? That's right. And I know at the moment there's a big push for revitalizing language and connecting with culture. So if you are lucky enough, I definitely recommend that to, um, yeah, learn your language. And, and books are a great way to start. And especially books like this that have not too many words in them, you know. All right. So speaking of language, we're going to use this bubba here and we're going to sing heads, shoulders, knees and toes but we're going to sing it in Darug language. So, Kim, maybe I'll sing and you can point out heads, okay. shoulders, knees, and toes. Sounds good. Can we see the baby? Maybe if we turn it a little bit Ooh, so we can we see the baby on the camera there. <laughs> All right. So let's go. Gabara, Dutchrung, Gurig, Manawi, Gurig, Manawi, knees and toes. Gabara, Dutchrung, Gurig Manawi, Gurig Manawi, and we say Maya, Guri, Wailan, Nugara, Gabara, Dutchrung, Gurig Manawi, Gurig Manawi. That's it. That's Heads so and shoulders, deadly. knees and toes. So you can change it if you know your language, change it up. But you can also, of course, too, sing the normal head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And see, I know when we used to sing that with the kindy kids, we used to see how fast we could sing it and we quickly go through, touch our body parts, quick, 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 eyes and ears and mouth and nose. So see if you can um, learn, learn to do that one quickly. I think it's very empowering listening to you use your language. Oh, deadly. Thanks, sis. Yeah, yeah it is. I think it's it'd been be great. very empowering for little ones to learn their language too. I think so as well. Sharing it at kindy. Yeah, and, and that's it. You can learn, you know, your friends yeah. might be from different mob, have different language, and you can learn all different languages. How deadly would that be? Especially when you're at kindy, you've got the opportunity to learn so much from so many different friends and different people, your teachers too. So, yeah, that's deadly. That's why we love kindy, hey? Yes. Yeah. All right, we're going to get on to our activity now. We'll move our baby out of the way. So, this one. thanks, yeah. sis. What colours have we got here? Ooh, what these are see? very familiar. We've got oh, another flag. That's right. So you can see yeah. black, yellow, and red. And we're going to be painting our hands today. Yes. So I might paint your hand if that's okay, yeah. sis. And will your hand fit on this piece of cardboard? Just. Just. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Just. You reckon you could? Yeah? All right. There we'll we do go. that. So we'll put these to the side and we'll get our paintbrushes. Now, who can help me? I'll take the lids off. What colours we need to go on the top if we're going to make our flag, hey? So we might start off with the yellow sun in the middle of your hand. Can everyone see Kim's hand there? Thanks, it's nice sis. To talk we, about, is it um, going to be a bit tickly, maybe? A little bit yeah. cold. It's nice to talk about the meaning to the colours of our flag as well yes, when sis. you're at kindy and if you're at home and teaching your friends at kindy. Can you tell us a bit more about that while we're painting it? Yeah. So we've got the yellow for the sun. We'll get our next we've colour. I've heard a. Go. Oh, that's a bit ticklish. I've heard a couple of different ones for black. Sometimes I hear that black is for our people, our mob. Yeah. And then sometimes I hear it's for the dark sky. Yeah. Oh, tickly. And this is good too um, for sensory, isn't it, sis? Yes. You know, sometimes uh, a lot of our kids uh, might not um, like their their hands getting dirty. So this is a nice way to, in a calm way, talk about, you know, we're doing a painting and we're doing something creative um, and they might be a bit more likely to, to get in and get their hands dirty, yeah, hey? Yeah, it makes them feel a bit more safe. Yeah, that's right. Last colour here. And the red. The red is for our earth. 
chlorella the red dirt. Kind of that's looks it. like ochre, doesn't it? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And that's something else Reddish too. You, to ochre. If you have some ochre, how deadly would that be, sis? Not using this paint, but using some ochre too. Would love that. All right, what do we reckon? Can you hold that's that up to deadly. everyone? Hold it up for the camera. Can everybody see that there? Can you see it's the same color as our flags? How good is that? All right, you want to put it on the cardboard or do yeah, you want to use a bigger piece it. of paper? What do you reckon? Cardboard, let's go. I reckon we can put it on the cardboard. Just going to press it down, kind of like a stamp. Yeah, it is, isn't it? That's it. Oh, oh it's smudged a bit. That's all right, though. How deadly is that? Look at that. Can everybody see that? Deadly. Same. And you could cut around that. Hey. Hang it up in your room. You could yeah. write your name in the flag. Oh, you know, anywhere on there. Make it your own. You don't have to just do the Aboriginal flag. What if you're a Torres Strait Islander mob? You could um, paint, you know, the flag. Oh, it might be a bit tricky doing that headdress. Hey, but you could have a go. Or just even the colours. You could even just do, you know, you know, red, black, yellow. Change it up. Whatever you like. Let your creativity and, um, yeah, run with that. Deadly. If you're at kindy and you have lots of friends with come from different backgrounds, you can have a look at what flags they have. Yeah, true. And share your flag with them. Yeah, different different flags from around the world. It's up to you. All right, there's some, uh, what we, I forgot to mention too, remember, if you're at kindy or at home, you probably have a sink to wash up your hands. But we've just got Kim there with um, some water and some soapy water. And another good tip is too, I don't know if you've done this one before, Kim, but um, when I worked at Kindy and we used to do handprints and footprints, sometimes it's good to put a little bit of soap in the paint because then when you wash it off, it's actually easier for the paint to come yes. off. Yes, it's a little uh, Kindy teacher insider tip if you don't already <laughs> know that one. All right. I think that's it. We're yeah. going to sing a goodbye song now. We thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed that activity. And remember, as always, if you do get up to something around the house, get up to these activities, or when you're at kindy, you can um, comment comment below or comment in our social media. Send us a DM. We love to share your stories and share your pictures, show other mob and other people around um, what you're getting up to. But for now, we'll sing Yawoo. So this is a song um, up from the Torres Strait.